Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this full screen nav menu to your blogger website. Now, if you want to learn how to create this from scratch, I have videos on that. I will leave the link in the description of this video. And uh, here we also have these hover effects and we also have an animation. So if I click on this close button, we have this animation. And if I click on this menu button, we have this animation for all these elements. So in this video, we're gonna add this full screen nav menu to our blogger website. So let's get started. Right here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and the theme that we are using is called Notable Light which comes by default with blogger. So here's the theme right here. And uh, this is how our website looks right now. So here we can see this is the theme applied. And we're going to replace this menu button with this menu button right here. So we just remove this menu button from here and we will add this so that when we click on this we have this animation and all these menu items displayed over here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to locate this menu button in our theme code. So let's right click on this menu button and let's click on inspect. Now this is the menu icon but let's go to the container division. So let's select this division right here. So this has a class of hamburger section and container. So what we need to do is uh, we need to locate this division in our theme code. So let's copy these classes and let's go to our blogger dashboard and let's go to theme and let's click on this button and click on edit HTML. Now here we need to locate this uh, division. So let's just search for it. I'll just press command F and just paste the classes over here, hamburger section and container. And let's press enter and here we can see we have the division right here so this is the code that represents this icon right here so we can just delete it but i'll just comment it so that we can use it later so let's press less than exclamation hyphen hyphen and let's close the comment over here so here we have to type hyphen hyphen greater than right now this menu icon is commented and if i save this And if I go back to our website and if I refresh this page and now the menu icon is not visible. So let's go back to our theme code and here let's add the menu icon. So here I just make some space and uh, let's go back to our source code and I will leave the link of the source code in the description. Now we need to copy the HTML of the menu icon. So let's copy this division right here and let's paste it inside here. Right now let's click on save. Right now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now let's right click over here and click on inspect. And uh, if we scroll down, here we can see we have this menu icon container. So let's also add the CSS of this menu icon container. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the style or CSS file. And here are the styles for the menu icon container. So let's copy these styles from here. And let's paste it inside the CSS of our theme. So let's scroll up. And uh, this is the CSS of the theme. Let's go to the end and uh, let's create a comment. Let's type full screen menu. And let's paste the CSS over here. And now let's click on save. Right now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And here we can see that our menu icon is displayed over here on the top right. Now if you go back to the CSS here we can see that we have set the position to fixed. So now we'll just remove this position fixed from here and we will add this menu icon inside the division that contains this heading and this search text. So let's right click and click on inspect. And uh, let's take a look at the container division. So here we have this division with the class of centered top and in that we have this division with the class of centered top first line and in that we have this division with the class of main header elements. So in the main header elements we have these uh, headings and also this search. So right now our menu icon container is outside this division right here. So we need to bring this menu icon container inside this division. So we need to move it just above this ending div tag. So Let's go to the HTML and let's copy this menu icon container from here 
and we'll just paste it inside this division. So I'll just make some space over here and I'll just paste it over here. All right now let's save it. All right now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And if I right click over here and click on inspect, let's select the division main header elements and in that we have this menu icon container. Right now we need to remove this position fixed from here. In fact, we'll remove all these styles from here. So let's go back and let's go to the CSS and we'll just remove all these styles from here. And let's click on save and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see that the menu icon container is before this heading. So let's right click and let's see what's the problem. And if we take a look at the container division, here we can see that the display is set to flex. And if we take a look at the blog name, here we can see that the order is set to one. And let's go to the next element, which is search. And for that, the order is set to three. So we need to set a higher order for this menu icon container. So if I just type order of four, now we can see that the menu icon container is in the correct place. Now we'll just add some margin and some padding to make it look better. So let's set the padding left to 30 pixels and we'll also add a margin top of negative 8 pixels and I think that looks alright. So let's copy all these styles from here and let's go back to our code and I'll just paste it over here inside the menu icon container. Right now let's click on save and now if you go back to our website and if I refresh this page we can see that everything looks all right. Now let's add the menu items. So all these elements over here. So let's go to our source code. And first of all, let's copy the CSS. So let's copy everything from here till the end. And we'll just paste it over here. And now let's copy and paste the HTML. So let's go to the end of our code. And here just before the body ends, we'll just add the HTML. So let's go back to our source code. And let's go to the HTML file and let's copy the HTML of the menu container from here. And we'll also copy the script for the GSAP. And I'll just paste it over here. All right now let's copy and paste the JavaScript. So let's create a script tag over here. And in here we'll paste the JavaScript. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file. And let's copy all this JavaScript from here. And let's paste it over here. Now, by the way, you can go ahead and make changes to these uh, values to change the animation. And if you go to the HTML file here, we can see that all these links over here, you can go ahead and change these to whatever you want. You can add a new link by adding a new anchor tag. And here in the href, you can just add the link of your page. All right, let's go back to our theme code and uh, let's click on save. And now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now if we click on this menu icon, we have our full screen menu displayed over here. And if I click on this close icon, it is hidden. So it is working all right. Now let's also check the hover effect. So if I hover over this, we can see that all the letters are one below the other. So let's see what's the problem. Let's right click over here and click on inspect. And let's scroll down and let's see whether we have any styles applied by the theme. So here we can see we have this style applied, which is word break and it is set to break word. So we have to change this to normal. And now we can see the text looks all right. So we need to change the word break inside our menu container division. So let's go back to our code and let's go to the CSS and let's go to the styles for the menu container. And here let's set the word break to normal. And let's save it. And let's refresh this page. And now we can see that the horror effect works all right. Now there are some more things we can do to improve our design. So first of all, if I click on this menu icon, the close icon is in a different place. So we have to move our cursor and click on the close icon. So what we will do is we'll bring the close icon in the same position as the menu icon. So let's right click over here and go to inspect and uh, let's select the container division. So 
I think it is this division right here, centered top. And here you can see on the right side we have the CSS. So we have a max width of 1280 pixels and we have the padding set to this value and we also have the margin set to zero auto. So let's copy these three styles from here and let's go back to our theme code. And if you take a look at the HTML, here we can see inside the menu container, we have this division with the class of content and in the content division, we have all the content. So let's go back to our code and let's target the content division. So here I'll just paste the styles and we'll just remove this padding from here. Right now let's click on save. And now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. Let's click on this menu icon. And now we have the close icon in the correct place. Right now let's also take care of the other screen sizes. So let's decrease the width of the browser. And now we can see for this screen size, we have a different styling. So let's right click over here and go to inspect. And let's see what is the width and the margin and the padding. So let's select the division. So here we can see the padding is set to zero and the max width is set to 920 pixels. And it is inside this media query of max width of 1168 pixels. So let's copy this media query and let's paste it in our CSS. And we need to add the styles inside the content of the menu container. So let's type dot menu container content. And let's go back to the inspector and let's copy these styles. And let's paste it over here. So right now, if I don't save it and if I click on this menu icon, we have the close icon in a different place. So let's save it. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and let's click on the menu icon and now we can see that it is in the correct place we also need to add some margin to the top so let's go back and uh, here let's add a margin top of let's try 24 pixels let's save it and let's see how it looks and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and let's click on this menu icon and now we can see that the close icon is in the correct place Right now let's decrease the width of the browser even more and uh, now we can see we have a different layout. Now the search icon is displayed over here instead of the search text and we also have the menu icon shifted to the bottom. Now there are different ways to fix this but what we will do is we'll just set the position to absolute and bring it in the center. So let's go back to our CSS. Before that let's see what is the media query. So we have this media query right here so let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here and we need to add the styles to the menu icon container so let's type dot menu icon container and uh, let's set the position to absolute and let's set the top position to 24 pixels let's set the left position to 50 percent now it will start from the 50 percent mark so we also have to type transform translate x and set it to negative 50%. Right now let's save it. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And I think we can decrease the top value a little bit. So let's right click and click on inspect. And let's select the menu icon container. And let's try different top values. And I think top value of zero looks all right. So let's go back and uh, let's set the top value to zero. And let's click on this menu icon. And now we can see the positioning of this logo and this close icon is not in the correct place. So let's see what is the padding of these elements. So let's right click over here and go to inspect. And let's select the container division, which is this division right here. And here we can see we have a padding of 24 pixels. So let's set a padding of 24 pixels for the menu items. So let's go back to our CSS and uh, let's copy this code from here. And I'll just paste it over here. And now here we'll just unset this max width. 
and let's set the padding to 24 pixels and uh, we'll just set the margin top to zero and let's save it and now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now let's click on this menu icon and everything is working all right we have the correct padding for these two elements and uh, everything is working all right so that's basically how you can add a full screen nav menu to your blogger website now here you can go ahead and add the links of your pages so you can add the link of the home page about contact and any page you want so here in the html you have these hashes you can just add the links of your pages over here all right so that's basically it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day